Hi, this video is going to be going over a free response question dealing with probability and random variables. Um, if you have the Practice of Statistics updated 6th edition textbook, uh, this is correlating to chapters 5 and 6 in those in, uh, in that textbook, and this is unit 4 in the AP Statistics uh, CED. Uh, so let's get started. This is from 1997. Free response question number 3. This is actually the first year that the exam was given. Fun fact. So the first question is a laboratory test for the detection of a certain disease gives a positive result 5% of the time for people who do not have the disease. The test gives a negative result 3% of the 0.3% uh, of the time for people who do have the disease. Large scale studies have shown that the disease occurs in about 2% of the population. So we have some false positives and some false negatives. And we have a couple questions to answer. The first question is, what's the probability that a person selected uh, at random would test positive for the disease? And then the second question is, what is the probability that a person uh, selected at random who tests positive for the disease does not have the disease? And before you begin, before we go over this, uh, at the top here, I do have a link if you want to try this question on your own and check the scoring guidelines, uh, bit.ly dot uh, capital A, capital P, capital S, T, A, T, 1997-3. And if you want to check those scoring guidelines first, then you can pause the video and come back to it. Um, I'm going to be working it out without checking them because, you know, I've gone through these before. So first of all, the first question is, what's the probability uh, that a person selected at random would test positive? So we're just kind of looking at probability tests positive. Whether they have the disease or not, we're looking for the probability that they test positive. And for part B, what's the probability that a person selected at random who tests positive for the disease does not have the disease? So this is a conditional. Um, so what we're given in this case is test positive. So we want to know what's what's the probability that they they actually don't have the disease given they test positive. So it does not have disease given, here's that little symbol for given, uh, uh, test positive. So that is our, our kind of our, our thinking, our terminology. Now, let's look at that first question. What's the probability the person selected at random would test positive for the disease? What I would do on this problem is set up a tree diagram. So um, I'm kind of looking at, in this problem here, you know, they're, they're either going to have the disease or they're not going to have the disease. So, uh, you know, we're looking at has disease. And we and we have uh, doesn't have disease or does not doesn't have. I'll just say doesn't have. And on this problem, right at the at the last sentence, it says large scale studies have shown that the disease occurs in about two percent of the population. So uh, that means two percent of the population has the disease, and ninety eight percent does not. Because remember, you're going to do one minus 0.02 for that. And then you're going to branch that off further, and we're going to actually talk about test results. And so we look at our test results, we have, um, well, we have positive or negative. And that comes from the first couple sentences. So a laboratory test for the detection of a certain disease gives a positive result 5% of the time for, the, for people who do not have the disease. So I want to follow the does not have branch. And I'm going to assign a 5% um, positive test rate for that. It's pretty high. Um, and this is going to be 1 minus that, so 0.95. Uh, then the other part, the test gives a negative result 0.3% uh, of the time for people who do uh, do have the disease. So let's look at the branch that does have the disease. And then it says a negative result. So I'm actually going to follow the negative branch here. And that's going to be 0.3%, uh, which is 0 0.003. So 1 minus 0 0.003, you can use your calculator, um, that's going to be 0.997. And so that's going to be our, our, our kind of numbers along the branch. And we always kind of want to get our ands. So I, I just go, go through and multiply um, 0.02 times 0.997, um, 0.02 times 0 0.003. Um, then I'm going to do 0.98 multiplied by 0 0.05 and 0.98 times uh, 0.95. And if we did this right, uh, these four numbers should add to one. So remember, we want to get that to add to one. Okay. So uh, you can do those calculations. I'm just going to throw them in a calculator real quick.
I get the following results when I do multiply. So these are my uh, probabilities that uh, have the disease and test positive, have the disease, do not test positive, doesn't have the disease and test positive, and doesn't have the disease and test uh, negative. And we have those four, they should add to one. And let's answer the question. What's the probability that a person selected would test positive, okay? So for testing positive, we're looking at, uh, well, we're looking at the ones down here. And that's gonna be um, this one right here, test positive, and this one right here. So those two would combine, and that would give you, um, let's see, 0 0.01994 plus, 0 0.049. And when you add those together, you get looks like 0 0.06894. And this doesn't really require any interpretation. It doesn't ask it to interpret anything. I'm um, really just kind of showing your work and making sure um, your process of getting getting those numbers uh, were calculated, whether or not you used a tree diagram. Um, that would be appropriate in this case. All right, that's part A. Um, I wanted to point out that uh, I wouldn't try to round things, uh, just try to keep whatever numbers that are there unless it goes on forever. Um, so on part B, it says, what's the probability that a person selected at random who tests positive for the disease does not have the disease? And again, remember, this is the probability that, um, probability that we wanna know um, does not have the disease so it does not have given test positive. Or symbolically, it would be like probability um, that doesn't have then the slash positive. Now, in this problem here, we want to use our previous answer, OK? We already have the probability that they tested positive. Um, and it's important to note that if you did not get a value um, for part A or if you couldn't figure it out, but you're able to answer part B, um, then you're gonna wanna provide an answer for part A anyway. Take your best estimated guess, reasonable number. Don't like throw something out like, like 1.5 because that's not a probability, but a reasonable guess. And then you can use your answer for part B to calculate, or from part A to calculate part B, even if it, it's not wrong. As long as your method is correct for Part B, you still be able to get partial credit for it. Um, I want to remind you guys of our answer for the previous question. So when the question says, what's the probability that a person selected at random test po who tests positive for the disease does not have the disease? What we're looking for is um, we're looking for our positive, right? This is our test positive. And out of those values, what what chunk of them, uh, of those people, uh, let's see, selected a random who tests positive for the disease, uh, does not have the disease, okay? So we're looking at our branch, uh, well, we're looking at our doesn't have, right? And then you follow that up there, and out of that, it looked like it was this 0 0.049 um, out of this 0 0.06848. So when you're looking at these, um, these conditional probabilities from your tree diagram, you're going to use one of them as your numerator. All right. So the, what you're looking for is the probability of um, doesn't have and um, test positive divided by test positive, right? Which, you know, is going to be 0 0.049 out of this point zero six eight nine four. Now we already calculated that in the previous problem. So we wouldn't have to necessarily calculate it again. Um, you just wanna make sure you have the right numerator in this case. So again, throw that in your calculator. And that should give you about 0 0.71076. So I might say uh, point, uh, seven one. 08 or something like that, 71.1% or 71.08%. Uh, um, so that would be your answer. So basically out of the ones that test positive, 
about 71.1% of those don't actually have the disease. And that's how you answer this free response question. Again, that was 1997, question number three. Thanks for watching.